What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane, and I don't think anybody saw coming what the Vikings did last night in the first round of the 2013 NFL Draft. We all knew the story coming into this year that there was a lack of elite talent, the strength of this class was on the defensive front and on the offensive line, and we saw the run go right down early. It was offensive linemen 1, 2, and 4, the top 3 tackles, and the Vikings were fortunate enough, my favorite team of course, to end up with one hell of a value at 23 overall in Sharif. Floyd, and I think the deciding pick there was the Raiders did not take him. They traded down. I'm like, okay, they're going to take Sharif here. Great move. I had mocked the number three in my mock draft, and they took DJ Hayden. And then Sheldon Richardson went to the Jets, and Star Lutu Lale went to the Carolina Panthers. And then nobody took a defensive tackle until the Vikings scooped up the best valued pick of the entire first round. That's the best value right there because he was a potential top five pick one of the top defensive tackles, and they get him at 23. My whole hope, I had mocked them Sylvester Williams and Manti Teo. I never thought Sharif Floyd had a chance of falling to the Vikings at all. No chance. That's why I said Sylvester Williams was the number one guy in this draft I wanted because I wasn't even realistically thinking that Sharif Floyd could fall that far, but he did. Now the Vikings have a very solid three technique to take over for Kevin Williams in uh, maybe a year's time. Right now, I'll expect him to play at the nose opposite Kevin Williams next to Jared Allen, and he's a dynamic pass rusher, and I can't wait to see what he can do in purple. And then the Vikings at 25, I was thinking Manti Teo here, they need a middle linebacker badly, but they took Xavier Rhodes, a cornerback out of Florida State, and to me, this fills a need at cornerback, and it also is a great pick because of the division the Vikings play in, defending the likes of Jordy Nelson, Brandon Marshall, Alshon Jeffrey, Calvin Johnson, and there's going to be more guys probably drafted to probably bolster some of these teams, so the Vikings have to get cornerback depth. Not only did they grab a cornerback, they got a guy who was the first, second guy on a lot of boards uh, behind D. Milner in most cases that I saw. He's a tall, fast, physical guy, and that's why I love him, because I think he's going to fit well here. Hopefully he plays well in the zone, because the Vikings mainly run his own defense, but what this does is with Cook on, in Rhodes on the outside, you can do more man looks, I think, now, because you have solid corners, and you also have the safety play to back it up. And so at that point, I was content. Sharif Floyd was enough to get me excited. Incredible value there. Xavier Rhodes, love the pick. But the Vikings weren't done there. They got on the phone with Mr. Bill Belichick and traded him the Vikings' second round pick, third round pick, fourth round pick, and a seventh to go up and snag Cordero Patterson, wide receiver from Tennessee, a guy who's an explosive playmaker, raw, my main concern about Cordero is his hands, I want to see him catch more of his hands, not so much his body because uh, that's obviously a bad habit, but he's a dynamic threat with a ball in his hands, he has incredible elusiveness for a guy who's 6'2", he's got great speed, and there is your field stretcher folks. Cordero Patterson, and also this is a great fit for the Vikings because he's not asked to be the guy. Like, what if the Rams had taken him instead? What if the Rams took Cordero Patterson instead of Tavon Austin? They don't have a lot else there to take away um, attention from Cordero. They have Chris Givens, Isaiah Pede, and Jared Cook. That's it. With the Vikings, he is now complementing the likes of Adrian Peterson, Greg Jennings, Kyle Rudolph, and then you add in the talent of Cordero Patterson, I'm excited. I I know he's a risky player because he's raw and inexperienced. He had one year in the SEC after playing junior college. But don't you guys think this is the right situation for him to be in because the Vikings have a good receiver coach in George Stewart. I'm hearing Chris Carter's going to spend some time with him. He can learn under Greg Jennings, and he's not asked to be the guy from the beginning. He may only be a returner right away and be the third receiver off the bench or the fourth receiver. We'll see how it plays out in training camp, but for now, the Vikings appear to have a very solid first round, although you can't grade drafts until years down the line, but for the value they picked... I would give them a very high grade because Sharif Floyd's incredible. Then you have Xavier Rhodes, one of the top corners, falling to 25. And you trade up with those picks and get Cordell Patterson. That's a lot of currency to go get the guy. But with taking those top three guys, I'm excited. I like the moves, Rick Spielman. And I'm excited for the Vikings in 2013. And they have five picks left. A fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and two sevenths. And I can't wait to see uh, how this draft pans out. And now I can't wait to get the training camp and preseason and the regular season. But what do you guys think? Floyd, Rhodes, Patterson. The new triple threat in Minnesota. Should we be excited? I think so. Let me know in the comment section what you think, guys. And I'll have some more uh, 
draft talk coming soon. Probably do a live stream tonight for the day two talk, whatever. I love watching the draft and the Vikings aren't picking today. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see ya later.